People ask me, why tahajjud? Why are you always talking about this? It's such a small part of life, such a small part of worship life. Why do you talk about this? Talk about other things. Talk about recitation of Quran. Talk about charity. Talk about fasting. And of course, all of these other things are very important. But tahajjud has a unique reflection or a unique importance that we understand if we really carefully read the Qur'an and carefully think about the words and lifestyle of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If we think about the concept of nafila, what does nafila mean? Nafila is something extra. We know we have to do the fard. We know that the furud alayna is very important and many, many people are struggling with the furud. I know this. But when we ask ourselves, what is nafila? We can look to the Quran to understand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَتَهَجَّدْ بِهِ نَافِلَةَ لَكَ عَسَىٰ إِنْ يَبْعَثَكَ رَبُّكَ مَقَامًا مَحْمُودًا so nafilatan lak means it's nafila. So this is something that is nafila. This, of course, is ikhtisas lil Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa This is something special for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, something special for his ummah, that we have this unique time at night that is nafila. What does nafila do? Nafila brings us to the love of God. And this ultimately is what we all need. And so then we look around. What is the nafila that we should be doing? And we discover that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself has described nafila as tahajjud. Okay, so now we need to get up. And in other places in the Quran, qum al-layl illa qalilan. Get up at night except for a little. So we begin to understand this nighttime is for sleep and for worship. And when we begin to understand and think about that, we begin to walk a different path. The importance of tahajjud comes back to the importance of really what it means to be human. Because we are created to be ibad Allah, to be of the worshipers of God. And we have a whole life of busyness and running around and rushing and coming at night exhausted and we're looking for rest in a hundred places. But the real rest is, in, is at night. The real rest is standing before God at night. The real rest is standing at the, in the last third of the night, standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, qum al-layl, stand up at night. Stand up at night. To be of the ibad al-Rahman al-ladheen yubituna li rabbihim sujjana wa qiyama. Let's think about that verse for a minute. To be of the worshippers of the merciful. And I want to talk a little bit about what that means, to become of the worshippers of the merciful. But to be that person, we'll talk about that maybe later, is also to define this as the one, yabitun means to settle. If you think about the word bait, a, uh, a house, a place you settle, yabitun, to settle in, settle into worship. It becomes something that you're at home with, something that you're, you settle your heart in. And it's very interesting, the verse, because it begins with sujjadan. So yabituna, in prostration, prostration to God, in great humbleness to God. And then qiyaman. And think about that. When we talk about the fuqah of prayer, when we think about what's the most important part of the prayer, if you have bad knees or if you have an injury, you break your leg or something like that, what do you have to do? We have to make sure about qiyam. We have to make sure about the standing up at, at night, right? Or excuse me, the standing in prayer, which is the standing at night, the establishing of the prayer. And sujood is the thing that if we break our leg or something, we don't have to do. Yet in this verse, sujjadan wa qiyaman, sujood comes first. Why? Because it's not only an action. Because the nighttime prayer is not only an action of the body. It's not only an action of the forehead kissing the ground. It's also an action of the heart. And tahajjud is the place where our heart wakes up and where our heart rests. And so when we begin to develop a habit of tahajjud, nafilatan lak, nafilatan lak, this nafila, this special thing that it's not a farud, no, no, it's not an obligation. Think about your children. When you ask your children to do something that is an obligation, 
and they do it, you're happy. But what if they come and do something extra? Maybe you ask your kids to unload the dishwasher. When you come upstairs or you come into the kitchen and you find out they unloaded the dishwasher and they did the dishes. Of course, it's, in a way, it's a silly comparison. But as parents, we know how that feels. You didn't have to nag for the dishwasher to get un unloaded. You didn't have to fuss about all of these things, about whatever it is to take the garbage out or whatever the thing is. And on top of that, they did something extra. Imagine if you're a son or daughter, after you told them to take the garbage out, you discovered they washed the garbage tins. Well, you might faint, fall on the chair. So what in the world was that? But certainly you'll, you'll look at that child with the eye of, of appreciation, of love. Nafila is the thing we do that is extra for the one that we worship. Nafila is not just the fard, it's standing up to do that extra thing. And tahajjud is the most important nafila. It's the most important sunnah. I mentioned all of these other beautiful things that we have to do and all of these other things that we want to think about, I should say. Other things that help us on the path. Fasting, sadaqah, praying sunnah prayers around our fard prayers. Uh, giving kind and good words to people. All of this is important. But tahajjud helps us to grow individually, to become of those who Allah loves. And also, as a community, think about that verse, becoming of those who have maqaman mahmuda, an elevated status. What is the status of our community today? Not so great. We have pretty bad PR, but we can find good PR on our prayer carpet at night. We can, through the worship of God, through deep worship of God, and even quick, even swift, even a couple of minutes before Fajr, worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can elevate not only our personal status with God, not only our personal status with dunya, but the status of our ummah as was the promise to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As is a promise to us, the importance of tahajjud is in walking the path of becoming of the beloved, of becoming of those who have a heart that it's easier to love with this heart. Stand up at night and follow in the path, listening to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he was asked, what are the best of deeds? If shu salam, give greetings of peace. Feed people. Stand up at night while people are sleeping. Let us all together stand up at night while people are sleeping. And as we look out of our window, pray for every single one of them that everyone might take advantage of these most beautiful moments and grow love flowers in our hearts that bring us near and close and holding to the path we are meant to be on. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.